Hello, Year 11. Uh, I'm looking at my face staring back on me at the screen. It almost looks like whenever you turn on television these days and there seems to be some middle-aged white guy in a shirt and tie sitting in front of a pile of books talking to you about COVID. Uh, fortunately, I am not going to be talking to you about COVID today, even though I am a middle-aged white man wearing a suit. Hopefully talking to you about something a bit more interesting and very pertinent to your, the choices you're making uh, at the moment. And those choices are, shall I take BTEC Level 3 business? Now... I did jot down a few notes, I did think about what I was going to say, but then it suddenly struck me, I really need to be answering the questions that you want to ask me. Obviously, I haven't seen many of you guys, uh, apart from the ones I teach, but what I did today, I went round a few of the students who I do teach, some in year 12, some currently are at year 11, said, what is it you want to know? Or, if you had your time again, to the year 12s, are there any questions you wish you'd have asked but you didn't? And uh, what I've done is jotted some of those questions down today and uh, I'm going to attempt to answer those now. The question which seemed to come up more than any other is what is the difference between the BTEC business and A-level business? The main difference is, the big difference is, the BTEC business is modular. It's not like A-level business, or for that matter, a lot of the other A-levels, where you wait to the end of year 13, you sit your exams, you get your qualification, that's it. BTEC business is split up into four modules, two in year 12, two in year 13, and you get a grade for those modules as you complete them. What it means is, having completed two modules in year 12, uh, you've completed 50% of the course. You have banked 50% of the grade. Uh, by the time it gets to uh, about May time of year 13, you've hopefully finished the qualification. It means at the start it's quite, you know, heavy. You know, you rush straight into coursework. You've got to get it stand up to stand up very, very quickly. But by the time you've gone into year 13 with 50% of your assessments done, you know the score, you know the rhythm, you know the standards which are expected. And it actually makes it very easy actually achieving that good grade. The other question seems to be, the uh, second question which seems to be asked most is, what do I study? Well, as I said, there are four units. Two of them are coursework based. So in year 12 and 13, one coursework unit. The other unit you take, one in year 12, one in year 13, is an exam based unit. Now, the coursework units, uh, well, I quite like the coursework units because rather than me come in and say, right, I'm giving you a case study about business X and business Y, you actually get to pick the businesses that you are, you know, that these units are based on. So the first one unit you will look at in year 12, which is exploring business, uh, you've got to look at the functional areas of business, the aims and objectives of business, how they're organised, do they meet their aims and objectives? Uh, you've got to do a study into some entrepreneur, uh, how innovative are they, how, you know, what exciting products have they developed. You pick the businesses, you investigate them, you do the research. You actually quite a bit of, get quite a bit of choice and it actually means with this first unit of coursework, you get to be quite an expert in you know, those businesses you choose to study. The other coursework unit you do, and this is year 13, is planning, recruitment and selection. You look into how businesses recruit people, how they choose people, uh, how, they, how they train people. But what you've got to do is you've got to actually, uh, as well as investigate how a business recruits, you have to take part in a recruitment process. You have to write all the job descriptions, the person specifications for the job, come up with the questions. Some of these terms, by the way, like job description, they might not mean much to you now, but they will as you progress through the course. Uh, and then you will actually be part of an interview panel trying to recruit someone and you will actually have to apply for a job as if it's for real. This for me is, is a great unit because it's not it's not just you doing study. You're actually you're actually finding out some things. You're finding out these things about yourself, how you react in the interview situation. And actually, as well as finding out how businesses do this, it means when you go for your first job interviews for, you know, proper managerial jobs or maybe for university, if you have to have universities for uh, interviews for university, it means you're prepared. You're a hell of a lot more prepared than other students are. And that's another thing about the BTEC courses. They do give you these skills which you can take beyond the school and actually use in business and in real life. And I'm digressing from the questions. Uh, the other two units you do are exam based units. The one in year 12 is getting the title right, developing a marketing campaign. It is not like the exams that you are used to. Uh, 
a few weeks before the exam, you will be given a pre-release and it will be information about a business and you have to prepare, come up with a whole marketing strategy for this business. Uh, you have to come up with what promotions, what publicity, how you're going to design the product. You come up with a whole marketing mix for this product. And when you sit down and do your exam, then you get given questions on it. You actually, you have researched it. You have a hell of a lot of research data. Now, you don't know what the questions are going to be, but you can bring in all the research you have done on the business. You know, in, in real life, if you were coming up with a marketing campaign, you would not sit there and do an exam on it. You would have a load of research. You would have a load of data and you would take it from that. And that is what you do in the exam situation. Year 13, your exam is personal and business finance. Um, it's not just learning about how finance is used, you know, to plan strategy for businesses. You, you get to know things like how cash flow, how break even to work, uh, accounting ratios. What can they tell you about the business? You do learn quite a broad spectrum of finance. Those are the units. Now, you add all those units together, it means you are quite prepared to move on to the next stage of study if it's business, knowing all of that. Now, uh, the other question, what do the grades mean in business? You get four grades, pass, merit, distinction and distinction star. Pass is equivalent to a grade E, merit is equivalent to a grade C, distinction is equivalent to a grade A, and distinction star is equivalent to an A star. Uh, what happens is, as you progress through the course, you get your units marked in year 12, you get your units marked in year 13, all those grades are banked, and then we come out with an aggregate grade at the end, which is your final grade. So in effect, like I said earlier, no big exams at the end. You're assessed as you go along, and whatever it's aggregated to, that is your final grade. I am also asked, what subjects does business BTEC go with? This is a difficult one. How long's a piece of string? I've had students before. I had a girl once who wanted to go to drama school. She wanted to learn stage management. She picked she picked BTEC business because she was learning principles of management. And actually, that did help with her application into drama school. Uh, Obviously, if you want to go and study business studies, absolutely fantastic. But if I look at some of the degrees which students have progressed to with business uh, BTEC, we have people going to business management degrees, even criminology degrees, marketing degrees, psychology degrees, economics, supply chain management. There's a whole list of degrees. The fact is, whatever you want to do one day, whether it's the theatre, whether it's a laboratory, a school, uh, they are, they are all structured like businesses. They still have functional areas. You still have marketing going on. You still have finance going on. So what you're learning here is applicable to most walks of life. Now, the other, the, the other question, where does it lead to? You can go to university studying BTEC. Uh, BTEC business. Now, obviously, if you apply to be a vet or a doctor, pretty much like any other A-level, unless it's subject specific, it's not going to help you. But BTECs will get you into university. They will help you with degrees and they are accepted by 99.9% .9 of universities. If anyone wants to come and have a talk to me about that, I can show you the information in the prospectus where it says about BTECs and what courses they'll help you into, etc, etc, etc. But universities do accept them. Apprenticeships, they are really great for because what you've done in this course is you have picked up a load of skills. Now, if I look here, um, businesses, there was a list of skills which uh, Chamber of Commerce published these, by the way, which businesses really wanted at the moment. And they said teamwork, project work, research skills, independent learning, presentations. These are all skills that you are using in the business, uh, in the business qualification, your BTEC, and that businesses want out there. It's what they want apprenticeship trainees or management trainees to actually have used. And you can come in and you can say, I've used those skills. I've started developing those skills and it actually does make you very employable and very, very marketable. I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully that's not that's a little bit more than what you had on the prospectus. Again, if there's any other questions, please feel free to email me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if not me, we have Miss Co, who also teaches business and we have Mrs. Blake who also teaches business. But thank you very much for watching the video. And like I say, any other information, do not hesitate to ask.